Yo, what's good guys? It's Decrypt Options here, also known as Lalo, back with another video. And today I am going over something that every trader goes through. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, expert, it does not matter. Everybody makes these mistakes, so I'm going to go ahead and list them for you so that way you can avoid these on your way to being a successful trader. Number one, stop playing zero DTEs. So guys, I see a lot of beginners starting off getting into zero DTEs. You know, they play with their whole entire account into zero DTEs. They hold them all day and they expire at the end of the day. And by the end of the day, they have zero dollars in their account. What are zero DTEs? Zero DTEs are contracts that expire on the same day you buy them. And if you don't know about the Greeks, there's such thing called theta, which is time decay. And every day you hold your contracts, the less expensive they become. So they become less valuable for every day you hold them. And zero DTEs, if they expire on the same day you buy them, they're gonna be worthless by the end of the day. And a lot of beginners make the mistake of thinking they can make a lot of profits real quickly using zero DTEs, but that is not the case. If the market is choppy or the market's not going your way, you could get liquidated real, real, real fast. And you do not want that to happen. So please stop playing zero DTEs. They are not worth it. Stick to your 5, 10, 15, 20% gains a day and you will be good. Stop playing zero DTEs. Number two, have patience. So going back to the zero DTEs, having patience is the number one thing when it comes to the market. You shouldn't be just blindly taking trades. You shouldn't just, you know, be jumping in or rushing into things, having FOMO, none of that. So what it means to have patience is recognizing your A plus setup, waiting for that setup to come around, and then you take the trade. Because when you do wait around for that A plus setup, now you have more confidence and now you're more willing to take that trade and you're willing to take that, you know, willing to pull the trigger on that trade and going back to zero DTEs if you buy time on your contract say a week out or two weeks out you're not really worried too much about the Greeks like theta gamma delta all of that you know you have more time on your contract so that way it becomes less risky the contracts move a lot slower give you more room to make decisions so buy time on your contracts have patience wait for the setup let it play out and if it doesn't go your way Cut it for a small loss. Make sure that risk to reward ratio is in your favor and you should be good. Number three, stop playing earnings. Earnings are not your friend. Earnings, you pretty much are never gonna win on earnings. You're gonna lose more money on earnings than you're gonna make off of one earnings. Trust me, because I've been there. Earnings are when companies report their quarterly financials for every quarter of the year. So when they release earnings, it's either in the pre-market or in the post-market. And so what gamblers like to do uh, they're not traders. I call them gamblers because this is not trading, it's gambling. So what gamblers like to do when earnings come around is when they report the numbers, they either buy calls or puts right before market close. And they're hoping that the stock has a super high volatile move and it just flies or drops in their direction. But more times than not, it goes up, down, sideways, and it doesn't go your way. You lose all your money. So stop playing earnings. They're not worth it. You're going to lose your money. Stick to the consistent 5, 10, 15% a day. And you'll be chilling. Trust me, 5, 10, 15% is plenty to make you a lot of money, no matter how much you have in your account. Stop playing earnings. Number four, and I see a lot of my members personally struggling with this a lot. So every morning we hop on Discord and we get on voice chat and we start live trading. And pretty much by the first 25, 30 minutes, we are done trading. We have made our money and we are good. We are green for the day. We don't need to trade anymore because we are green now. But what I see a lot of my members doing is they stick around in the chats, they stick around in the voice chats, and you know, they keep trying to look for more plays, trying to make more money, trying to make as much as they can in one day. And that's where it goes wrong. Once you are green for the day, whether it's $10 or $1,000 or $10,000, it doesn't matter. If you are green, that's all that matters. If you're red, you're losing money. If you're green, you're making money. So why would you be mad if you're already green? I'm telling you, you do not have to trade if you're green. Be disciplined. Take your green, step away from the computer, and you will be fine. Trust me, it's gonna feel a lot better having 10 green days in a row than having a whole bunch of losses and then one $250 gain in a day. It's gonna take a lot of discipline and patience, but trust me, this is the only way you can become a successful trader is making sure that you're green every single day. It doesn't matter how much you make. If you make $10, $1,000, as long as you're green, stop trading, step away, and you're good, boom done stop over trading number five take profits oh my god take profits i have so many members so many friends that you know trade with me and on the discord and on live chats 
that are up 40, 50% on one trade and they do not take profits and they end up going red on the trade. Personally, myself, you know, I don't like to speak for anybody else, but personally myself, when I see 10, 15, 20%, that's when I start scaling out a few cons. I start taking my profits on the way up and letting the rest ride out just in case it does. And if it goes break even, it's a risk-free trade. I'm still in the green. I only lost a bit of my profits and I'm good. But what I see a lot of people doing is they hold full position all the way through and they don't sell a single contract and they think it's gonna keep going and then by no time, the market reverses and then boom, they're back on their ass. Do not be that guy that is up an absurd amount and does not take profits. Please do not be that guy that is up an absurd amount and does not take profits. I've seen this happen to so many people and it just sucks to see because they're up an absurd amount. And it's just like, dang, man, you had it right there. And all you have to do is click a button and you would have sold it and you didn't. Like that must suck. I know that really, really, really sucks. And I'm talking to you. I know you don't be taking profits. I know you're still playing zero DTs every day. I know you're lacking a little bit of patience. I know you're playing earnings here and there. And I know you're probably still trading even after you're green for the day even after not taking profits. I'm talking to you, I'm looking right at you. Nah, but all jokes aside, these are just five habits that I learned on my way up to being a successful trader and making sure that I am profitable every single day. I hope you get these ingrained in your brain and I hope you wrote these down and remember them, put them away, read them every once in a while when you're trading so that way you do not forget. That being said, it's been Decrypt in the building. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like for me, subscribe if you haven't already, and we out. Peace. Woo.